When we think of sports health, we often neglect the importance of our respiratory well-being. We have Dr. Kenneth Chan, respiratory physician at Glen Eagles Hospital to talk more about it. Okay, Dr. Chan, thank you for being here. Naturally, when we exercise, we will breathe a little bit harder, but how hard is too hard and when do we know when to stop? Okay, so that depends on person to person, but in general, okay, if you are exercising, uh, some abnormal symptoms would include feeling dizzy. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you start coughing or you hear that your breathing becomes noisy or your chest is feeling very tight, uh, that may be a sign that something is wrong, that you may be pushing too hard and you probably should stop the exercise and maybe have yourself checked out. Exercise induced asthma. Yeah. Um, how is this different from the other types of asthma and who can develop EIA? Exercise induced asthma is a very specific form of asthma. Mm -hmm. It can literally happen to anyone in a susceptible person. What happens is their airways go into spasm when they are breathing heavily during exercise. Okay. And this spasm then causes them to feel coughing, chest tightness, and they have to stop their exercise prematurely. They are different from normal asthma in that these individuals do not get symptoms outside of an exercise situation. Let me ask you a personal question, and I'm sure this goes for everybody else. Yeah. Uh, when I do high intensity workouts or when I'm running long distance, I do get this very sharp pain, uh, I guess commonly known as a stitch okay. or stitches. Okay. Um, what actually causes that and how can we avoid uh, feeling that kind of a pain? A stitch is actually a pain that's coming from your main breathing muscle mm -hmm. called the diaphragm. So it's like a cramp of your breathing muscle. Mm -hmm. So to avoid that, it's the usual things that you would do for other muscle groups to prevent cramps. Okay, one is obviously keeping yourself well hydrated, having a good warm-up so that your breathing muscles are well stretched. Mm -hmm and you can actually slow down or reduce the intensity of the exercise so that your breathing muscle doesn't need to work that hard. Now speaking of running, haze is a problem we face in Singapore. Um, can you give us some tips for those who still would like to exercise outdoors during this period of time? Yes, unfortunately, um, during certain months of the year, it's kind of unavoidable. Uh, if the PSI is uh, anywhere between 100 to 200, that's kind of considered unhealthy air. So if you are a relatively healthy person, it's actually still okay um, to continue exercising, uh, but you may want to lower the intensity of your exercise and also to kind of uh, monitor your body. If you have any of those symptoms, like feeling dizzy, uh, starting to cough, having chest tightness, then it's time to kind of stop the exercise. But obviously, if you have access to an indoor gym, uh, that, that, would, uh, that would be even better because then you're not exposed to the air at all. Okay, so just pace yourself, yeah. right? Well, thank you, Dr. Chan, for being here. We really appreciate your time. We hope that was helpful for you. Watch out for more videos on sports health brought to you by Glen Eagles Hospital.